you know, when a community works together, you know, and get more positive results. Yeah, you know, I'm walking through a mall, and I'm like, man, maybe if I could walk through a mall like I'm walking through the mind of God, you know? He's like, man, how do you guard your thoughts, you know? He's like, I don't know. You ever walk through a mall? You know, my grandmother died, and I told my dad, you know, don't worry, she's up there in heaven looking down through the holes of the floors of heaven, you know? I says, well, you know, I'm walking through this mall, I can't figure out. I was like, man, they got a couple leaks in the ceiling, you know? You know, I think about this, uh, this Bible, you know, it's got a, a book in a Bible. It's talking about the repair of the church. So it says, you know, it's not the repair of the building, it's the repair of the people. You know, and it says, well, we don't want that hate money, you know? We don't want that hate money, you know? People, people think, well, you know, it's just about the money. And we're like, no, it's more than the money. God doesn't want that hate money, you know? When it's just about the money. He says, well, how can I build a mall that's more than money? He says, well, people walk through this mall and they see all these trash cans, you know? And they see this water just dripping down, filling up buckets like a bucket list from God saying, we got to wash all the trash clean, you know? So how can we do that with a mall, you know, if it's just a bunch of fashion shows or jewelry, you know? So what if you could have a jewelry store, some fashion, and maybe some, you know, barber shop. And, man, if you really got to chase down that one person that's special, you know, we got to have one of those sports shops with tennis shoes, you know. i tell you, you know, you got all these holidays, you know, but did you ever have a holiday, you know, like once a year? You got like a big holiday, and then they could walk through a mall to remember that holiday all of the year long, you know? We tried that once, you know, with Christmas. We're like, hey, we got a Christmas story, you know, and then here's this kid, didn't have anything, so they brought gifts from all over the place. And it's like, man, every year everybody has Christmas and talks about Jesus. Here's some presents, and then it became a corporate thing. The corporations were like, man, that's a great idea. Let's get everybody to give each other gifts, you know. And then we got shop with a cop. Hey, hey, man, you know, those people don't have anything. Hey, let's see if we can get them to think about it's more than money, it's more than a gift, and a a wrapped present, you know, maybe it's about family, you know, so uh, every year, you know, people go through a mall, and they, they just, every day, they go through a mall, and it's like, well, what do those corporations do, it's just, do you have any idea how much money was invested in the last two years, to try and get people to remember, hey, let's reach out and touch someone, you know, it's like, man, what do you mean? My grandmother, Joyce Smith, worked for AT&T as an operator. I said, hey, let your fingers do the walking through the phone book of life, you know. Go out there and reach out and touch somebody's heart today, you know, and make them feel like they're important. Well, the phone book didn't work, so we made computers now. They had keyboards. They figured maybe if we get that one key phrase with that one key letter, you know, maybe we'll make a United States Postal Service. You know, how can we build up a mall to build up people's lives? This is maybe, you know, somebody put a, <laughs> somebody put a lighthouse right here. It didn't cost a lot of money, you know, and it says we need change, you know. More than money, we need a light, you know, a guiding light to help people, you know, walk through life, you know. Of better family values. I'm like, man, faith and family values? This is, well, you know, somebody makes a promise, man, and they mean to keep it. It's like, man, we would go make an adventure, you know? Hey, can you prove it? This is, well, you know, if we could get this mall built up, you know, there's something great, you know, to make an impact on people's lives. We're like, maybe we'll put an impact church there, and in the middle of the mall, we'll put like a, a lighthouse to get the attention of people and saying, man, we need more here than just music, fashion clothes, and haircuts in, in, a, in a restaurant food court. I see a, a radio shack down there. 
It's been closed for a while, you know. How do we get them interested in science, you know, and, and, and technical stuff without an electronic store, you know? You know, if technology can help with health, then how do we get them to understand that without a health food store? So somebody open up a health food store over there, you know? I'll tell you, you know, if you want to go on an adventure, you know, it's like, man, it's like how many people took those checks that they got in the mail, you know, say, we got a stimulus check, man. And then hey, did some of those people work together? It's like, hey, did I get my $1,200 check with that other $1,200 check person, that other $1,200 check? Now, how many people put their money together and really invested in something, you know? Well, you know, growing up, My dad said, when there's a will, there's a way. And I said, you know, well, how can they, they understand that, you know, get interested in history without any kind of artifacts or souvenirs, you know? Maybe if I get something, you know, like the Romans, you know, used to have these competitions, artifacts, you know? History is health food for the mind and health food stores like nutritional food and nutritional substances that help the mind react, you know, with the environment. If you don't eat healthy and you don't have history, then how are you going to know that God wrote a rule for everybody thousands of years ago and they named that guy like Jesus Christ? And he says, man, who wants to argue over religion? You start walking around in the mall and you're like, man, you look around and you're like, well, you know, I got some empty spaces in here. I've got plenty of room, but uh, I need some people to invest more than money. So much that they even put a, a, a JSO sheriff station, like a substation to, to, to help with the, the mall security. He says, look, it's safe here. We got the sheriff's department. We got mall security. We got the citizens, we got the community working together. And it's like, how can we get a mall to build up something for a community to give them hope for the future? Then one crazy guy said, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs>